food that we're actually not eating, but we think we are. Yes. So that was the question I asked in the book that followed, which just came out recently called The End of Craving. What, what I think I, I do not doubt for a second, what I learned in the Dorito effect is that adding flavor compounds to food makes us eat food we wouldn't normally eat. So another great example are soft drinks. If you think of something like Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, Pepsi, we always talk about these things as though they're sugary drinks. They are sugary drinks. Then we always talk about sugar as though it's the guilty party. And yeah. I, on some level, that's obviously true. The sugars are where the calories are. The sugars are, that involves insulin, all sorts of things. But let's ask ourselves a question. If it was just soda water with sugar, would people drink it? I've done that test at home. I've given it to my kids. I've tried it myself. It's really not very interesting to drink. When you add the flavor compounds, you are imbuing it with a kind of this sheen of biological complexity that it doesn't have. So you take something that would normally be like a, eh, 